Hello friends and other relations, and welcome back to Surviving the Elements. Today I'm going to show you a deck featuring a rare card. I finally have enough of these to do this. Now, before anyone gets started, I know that this is kind of a weird deck, and uh, not necessarily the most effective one, but it, I, I thought I'd experiment a bit. This deck focuses on f creature control through freezing and quanta starvation. So... And the, the Quad of Starvation has been working really well, especially so. Um, so this is the rare card, Arctic Squid. It's one of those... It's weird that it's a rare card. Um, there's, there's only a few of these rare creature cards where you... like. There's the Pharaoh, and then there's the, the Arctic Squid. And I think the Firefly Queen used to be, but isn't anymore. And I don't know if... Maybe there's other ones, but I, I can't think of any others. Anyway, so if I'm featuring the Arctic Squid, which is a pretty cheap card uh, with very low attack and low HP, but it gives you the uh, um, the ability to freeze your your enemy's creatures. So that comes in handy. And having a line of six of them means that your cre your enemy's creatures can't really do anything to hurt you. Uh, a few ice dragons for damage, and really the the strategy with this deck is. Starve them for Quana with Earthquakes and Tridents. Because uh, the Tridents deal, they don't just deal for damage, but with three Earth Quanta, you can destroy up to three Pillars or Pendulums in the target cluster, which is the same thing as an Earthquake. But it calls it a Tsunami. <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> um, and then a, a couple Ice Shields in order to, just in case the Arctic Squids aren't doing the job. Also for the, the one physical damage decrease. Not that you'll need it for the most part. But anyway, let me show you how it works, and we'll see if it actually continues to work. <laughs> it worked for testing, but that's no guarantee. Oh, a time deck. Okay, should be fun. Oh, that kind of time deck, the, the whole light time deck. That's one of my least favorite decks to fight. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get the... Uh, I'm working with pendulums already, so that's that's cool. I'm actually I've been thinking I should uh decrease the amount of uh, earth uh, amount of pendulums because it's it's been producing so much earth quanta. I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, yeah, enchant this artifact, why not? But it's been doing exactly that and so yeah. Okay, let's definitely get that arctic squid down there so we can freeze that. Oh, no, don't even have to wait. I included one freeze card because I have an upgraded freeze card, a congeal card, and I, I I need excuses to use it. So this was perfect. If you're if you want to copy this deck, you certainly don't need that. Though clearly it came in handy right there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the 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 quantum generation that's been slow actually has been the water, which is why I think I think um if I redo this deck, I'm going to. Decrease the pendulums and use more pillars. It takes a while to get the uh, the dragons out there, which is why it is incredibly important to keep getting rid of their uh, their quanta so that they are their quanta generation. Ooh, yeah, let's keep that frozen. Let's definitely keep that frozen. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough to freeze anything else. See, this is what I mean. Okay. Need more water pillars. Okay. Well, definitely got a priority here. Freeze this. And freeze... Uh, I guess we'll have to freeze that. Okay. Keep those frozen. It'd be nice if I could get the ice shield up. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Another water pillar. Let's tsunami that pendulum out of there. Yo. Okay. Kill that. Or get that. Okay. They've got quite the line of the... Uh, oh. Okay. Reverse time. That's fun. That's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. Horribly. Just puts me a turn behind. And that's, that's okay. Okay. Let's freeze that. Really need to get this dragon out there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk leaving that Dune Scorpion unfrozen so that I'll have enough for the dragon this turn. Perfect. Okay. 
Ooh, ice shield. Okay, I can do that next time. Freeze that. Freeze that. Uh, tsunami is not going to help me any here because they don't have any pillars out. The they run out of pillars fast. It's amazing. <laughs> Why did he reverse time my squid but not my dragon? I'm I'm telling you, the AI makes decisions sometimes that just don't make any sense to me at all. Okay, uh, let's freeze that one. And uh, yeah, just keep going, I guess. The sundials are slowing everything down, but that's okay. Okay, let's freeze that one. Definitely need another Arctic Squid. Actually, let's play the Ice Shield. Let's play the Ice Shield. And then Tsunami this this thing. I really don't need the Earthquake now, unless I, I he plays out two different kinds of pillars, and I need to do it in one turn. But um, that's yeah, not really an issue. Okay. Uh, play another Arctic Squid. Why not? Tsunami that. It is a, like I said, it is a very slow deck. But so long as you keep all this going, and so long as they don't do that early on, with the whole neurotoxin thing, um, it works pretty well. Tsunami. Not that I need to, because they're already, he's already dead, but, eh, why not? Let's just play everything we got. If you're gonna do it, do it thoroughly. That's what I always say. Well, not always, but... Anyway, I should always say that. I should just always say that. And nothing else. Anyway, thank you, friends and other relations. Uh, let me show you the import code. Is right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're going on a fun adventure. And uh, I will see you anon. Bye!